Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Business Heroes Street Grub, shall we? I'm getting an early look at the game, and the demo will be dropping on October 4th, I believe. I'm going to put links in the description below so you can check out the game's Steam page, wishlist it, follow along, and see if you like the demo. So, I've never played. I'm going to fire up a new game. All right, so we're going to do a sandbox mode here. And we are the CEO, Dr. Incompetent, that's right. Company name, Incompetent Grub. All right, and we'll be in Washington, D.C., that's fine. Um, my source of funds, we will start with some savings. I'll start right in the middle with 4,600 bucks, that's fine. Um, we could go with plant-based, let's do that. And our calculation mode could be automatic, um, or you could do manual. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with automatic for the more relaxed game mode, but if you wanna micro more, you could do manual, which is cool. And here's the weather, game difficulty is right here, nice and smooth for our first time, let's go. Look at that food truck. I mean, Hulk smash. That's awesome. All right. Uh, Master Lee says, okay, on the top, we could see our company value, our cash. Um, our value is zero. Apparently, our cash is 4,600. And um, our location is the noisy playground for our food truck. Uh, looks like we don't even have a food truck yet. Looks like we are just a little, like, food cart. We're starting small here. And the population is 59, the weather and the temperature. Okay, great. And the next action button, use this to perform the required actions to start the day. Research, restock, play, and pause. Okay, looks good. And here's the main menu. Use the left sidebar horizontal menu and locality buttons to navigate the game. Okay, I see. And, oh, a little gift for us. A humble beginning like my first stand to get you going. Thanks, buddy. Okay. So it says, to get you started, complete these challenges in sequence. Strategic decisions such as ordering, training, upgrading, and promoting must be made at night. Time to take action. Okay, so we got to plan for the previous day. Uh, or not previous, but the next day. How about that? Oh, my gosh, it's the burger bike. That burger bike looks sweet. Okay. So uh, select your stand in the environment and adjust the recipe using the plus and minus buttons. So I'm going to select my stand and we have a burger recipe. So currently, um, you know, each, if I go like this, one bun, a tomato, lettuce, sauce, four patties, that's a huge burger, um, unless they're tiny patties, and some cheese, and it costs me $1.85 a burger. And then this is the suggested selling price. Now this says the amount customers will pay. What if I reduce the patties? I mean, if I reduce the patties, it costs less and it doesn't, the price stays the same. I mean, it seems good, like just double, but I wonder if they're gonna think like I'm cheapskating them. Um, I don't know, it seems fine to me. Okay, um, this price right here, um, let's actually s sell this for a little bit cheaper. We're going to sell it for $2.70, and I'm doing that, um, mm, let's reduce the markup just a little bit. What if it was two fifty? No, that's way too cheap. Two sixty. Two sixty-five is perfect. I want it to be a nice round number so I don't have to use pennies. Um, and we make 50% profit margin. That's wonderful. Okay. Um, here's my inventory. Um, okay. So, stock going to waste. Expiring tomorrow. You have no expiring patty or cheese. You have no excess inventory. Great. Um, do I need to order anything? Order ingredients at night for the next morning's delivery. Use the in-stock plan and recipe table to plan tomorrow's production. Production of burgers is limited by the quantity of the least available ingredient. Okay, so um, 
I can get a, ba a pack of six buns. All right, so let's get six buns. And um, I'm, I don't have enough for any burgers, so let's just kind of add one of everything and see where we're at. This is enough for just four burgers. Um, this expires, so we need to do this. How many can I get? How much money? I have a lot of money, so. But I don't want it to go bad. Like, how many, I don't know how many burgers I can expect to sell. All right, I got enough for 12 burgers here. Expected inventory loss. Um, all right. This is how much storage. Maybe I should just fill up my storage. I have no idea. Um, I'm just going to fill it up and just see how many burgers we could sell here. And... Actually, wait a minute. Let me see something here. Um... It does. This doesn't go down until. Yeah, I only. Need, I don't need that many packs of cheese because it gives you twelve slices. I have way too many um, sauce. I only need two boxes. There we go. Actually, what's holding me back is... Is it cheese? Yeah. I think Patty's is actually holding me back right here. I'm just going to fill up, um, but I'm going to do it. There we go. All right, I have enough for 56 burgers, but I'm going to exceed um, if I do that. This is fine. Let's just order this many. I mean, <laughs> we're going to find out, like, oh, oh, no, they, okay, never mind. No, they do want me to change the recipe even more. Okay, good. I'm glad I looked at this. So two slices, three lettuce and one sauce and one patty and one cheese there we go so i met the goal and okay they're helping me out much more i was like doing it freewheeling you don't have to be as foolish as i am you can do this better okay so just follow the goal in the left and then it says set it to two dollars and twelve cents for the price okay um okay and it says order enough to make 30 burgers All right, so I might have way too much. Oh, no, they put it back to 26 burgers. Um, but I don't need as many patties at all that I have because I'm doing one-to-one, -one, so I just need to make sure I have 30 patties. But I need more tomatoes. I think. No, 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 no. I only need 60. Yeah, here we go. And this is 26 burgers. Oh, because I need more lettuce. Okay, here we go. That's perfect. We only need 30 buns. And we don't need as much cheese as I've ordered. This is perfect. Okay. And research service insights under the customer section. Okay. Research... Uh, Grace says, I'm the master's assistant. I will guide you through the research with grace and elegance. I bet. Research projects are time-based and several can be queued at once. Look for my thumbs up icon to find recommended choices that can help you succeed. Okay. So they're saying research service insights um, under the customer section. Okay. So we're in the customer section. And here it is. Service insights. Um, get instant service feedback from customers. Improve your service to meet customer expectations. And that gives us access to the business barometer and the performance summary. So we're going to start a new queue. 
All right, we're researching this. I could research more like social media advertising or etc. That's cool. Um, and then start today by pressing the play button. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I guess, um, he's gonna give me some money if I do this. That's cool. It's down here in the bottom right. Play. Midday adjustments. You can change your prices and recipes anytime during the day. Once you finish the service feedback research, you can listen to what customers say and make changes to increase your reputation and earn more money. Okay. So you can see over here, this is what's happening. Um, I'm going to pause it, just kind of take a look. So um, it looks like I maybe made some. Oh, no, I made money because they gave me money for the quest. But right now, I've sold nothing. I, I haven't sold a single item. I'm just going to play. They don't want to. Oh, oh, somebody just bought five burgers. Oh, my goodness. Um, noisy playground. Click to go. Ah, the great outdoors. Yes, indeed. Missed by parents, perhaps even more than by their kids during the lockdowns. Here, the little devils can unleash their super cyan energy while their parents savor a fleeting taste of freedom. That's where I am right now. And so they're telling me in this area, it's primarily students. And I get some like feedback on the students. You can see their economic um, happiness, their price sensitivity, um, and you know perhaps what they're interested in. I paid fifty dollars for this permit fee, which doesn't seem too bad. Um, okay, and I'm going to just close this out. Uh, let's see. Can I? Yeah, I'm on the noisy playground. Um, okay, let's go ahead and just see the research. Oh, all right, the queue is there. Okay, no problem. All right, here's my stand. And we just need to sell 40 burgers in one day. Well, I got to tell you, we're going to have a problem unless I have extra. Oh, but I can make midday adjustments. That's what they said. Oh, that's only available at night. Well, um, I don't know if I could sell 40 then. We'll see. I only made 30. Customer feedback section. Oh, okay. No, I don't want this. Um, all right. We're selling burgers, though. You can see our money coming up. Uh-oh, out of stock. Your stand has run out of ingredients. Be sure to buy enough to last the whole day. Go to my stand. I'm going to pause it. And here's my stand. Well, um, it's only available at night. But they did say that you could, like, make midday adjustments i don't know i mean i could make midday adjustments to the price but not order any more food i don't think okay um well what can i do it's pretty sweet you can like change the music and stuff if you want to i'm just gonna speed it up i think i'm gonna have to wait till the end of the day and just order more for tomorrow i ran out all right so let's see what happens well done. Your challenge is to achieve the goals I've set within 15 days to qualify for the first round of selection. It's okay to run out of ingredients or lose money while learning to predict sales and experimenting with different strategies. Let the journey begin. Indeed. All right. So um, I made $63, but it didn't cover expenses. That seems bad, but we're just starting, right? Okay. So, order enough ingredients to make 40 burgers and set a price that attracts more customers. Okay, so we need to sell 40 burgers and 50 drinks. All right, so let's click on our stand, and then let's go to... This is the recipe that we know, burger. We're not going to adjust it. We're going to leave it. The price is good. I had no problem with that. Inventory, we're going to um, order some more. Now, it doesn't look like... 
um, I know a recipe for drinks just yet, right? So I'm going to have to learn that. Let's just sell the burgers first and see if that'll unlock the next category. So I'm going to um, make sure I have enough buns for at least um, 42. Okay, so... And let me get enough cheese for that. There we go. Okay, and then... Um, enough for 24 burgers currently. Let me just look at my recipe again. That's right. Oh, because I need more tomatoes. Or not. Oh, yeah, we do. No, we do. And then we need more lettuce. There we go. So now we have enough for 42. And we still have plenty more, so I'm actually going to go to 48. Um, actually, I don't need to order. Let's see. What would it take? There we go. Now we have enough for 48. We have some more storage. So let's bump it up. 54 okay good um, I have enough for 52 hmm let's just do this this is 52 this is good all right and um, City View. Wow, look at this. Okay, so I am over here in a noisy playground, but you can move to all these different locations, and you can have food trucks, I believe, in all the different locations as well. So here's me. I'm a student. Sounds great. No, wait, I'm not a student. I'm, I'm selling burgers to students is what I'm doing. I'm going to um, go back here to my playground, and um, we already have a stand. Let's just try to complete the goals. 40 burgers in a day. I like it. We're going to do this. No problem. Oh, choose research. Okay, so we finished service insights. can improve your service to meet customer expectations. The feedback section is at the bottom left of the environment area. Okay, so we now have feedback. Now what do we want to research? Um, we can research the business barometer, track your food stand's reputation, um, get a live summary of your performance, okay? Um... Unlock the ability to own more food stands and more workers. Grow your business and reach more customers. I mean, that seems sweet. Yeah, give me the rookie stand manager. Um, ooh, look at this. Maxi Burger Wagon. It's a new vehicle type. It's too expensive, but... Um, yeah, start it. Oh, and they want us to get this Arctic Cooler box, I guess. I'll add it to the queue. Anything else they suggest? Look at this. Promote cheap, cheesy burgers for students. Yeah. Get that. Add it to the queue. Okay. So now I've queued up a bunch of research. I'm going to close this. And let's just um, click on the play button. All right. We got our stuff delivered. Oh, my God. That rooster. All right. We're preparing. You can see it right over here. Okay, people are buying the burgers. Let's go to our goals. You can see it over here. Oh, look, here's the feedback. Um, research perfectionist. Oh, to see feedback. Okay. Performance summary. Oh, no, I got to research that. Okay. Um, but we do have our sales and expenses. We're selling... Uh, we only have 20 burgers left, but we're selling everything here. Now we're actually, um, you know... 
making a decent amount of money. We only need to sell two more burgers and we hit that. The number. I'm going to speed it up. Oh, look at this. You can move your stand if you want. So I'm here, but I could move it here. Now, I think my place is good. It's right by the swings. And all these people are like walking. I could move over there, but um, I think this is fine. So now they say research the Arctic cooler. Okay. Um, but I got the reward. So let me go to actually to research. And I could change my queue around. I mean, I'm doing rookie stand manager. But what if um, is cooler number two? Oh, okay, good. It's number two. That's fine. See if I could sell all my burgers. We did it. We ran out of stock, but we sold all that we had storage for. So I'm not upset about it. All right. So we did still lose money, but not a ton. Um, and so I'm happy with that. Now, all right. You can manage workers, own multiple food stands, and expand your business. Heck yeah. Each new stand comes with a dedicated worker. Find the option to buy a new food stand by clicking any empty stand spot in the locality. Awesome. Okay, so um, here's my queue up here. Yeah, we want the Arctic cooler. That looks great. Close it. Um, restock the stand. Yeah, auto reorder. We got a research inventory calculator to save our lives. Um, but we're going to do the same thing we did yesterday. I'm going to have enough for, you know, um, that's good. Okay, that looks good. Uh-huh. I'm going to lose inventory if I order any more. So I kind of went too haywire. Let's go back to 56. Uh, yeah, 56 seems better. Go down here. There you go. Here we go. 50. No. No. Nah, 50 is fine. I need more lettuce. I just don't have space. Oh, you know what, though? I don't, It's okay to go over. If I lose the inventory, then that happens. But, um... Why am I only selling 50? What am I missing? I need 150... I need that. I don't know why this is only 50. Um, what am I... What would I have to order to, to boost this up to 56? This has to go up. Um, oh, no, I can't add any more. Oh, no, I am adding more, but it's not counting it. It's like telling me that there's a limit to how much it'll hold. Okay. All right. Then let's just order this much. There we go. All right. So we're not going to be able to um, do the next... I'm just going to speed it up and just go through the day really fast because we need to research the uh, cooler so we can sell drinks. Whoa, wait is too long. Slow service. Man, they slammed me. But that means that's good. That means a lot of people want to buy burgers. Service is slow. Man. They were not happy. Look, the burger bike can only do so much. I'm just one man with a burger bike. All right. Start selling drinks with the Arctic Cooler box. Sweet. Keep ingredients fresh for longer. Find it in the upgrade section under the vehicle tab on the left sidebar. All right. So we got under the vehicle tab in the upgrade section. Okay, awesome. 
Um, now we're going to research Student Saber. I don't know if they want me to actually... Let me go to my goals. What's the next thing? Upgrade any stand to a Maxi Burger Wagon. That's the next thing they want me to do. And so let me go to um, research and say, well, where's the Maxi um, Burger Wagon? Here it is. So we need to research this. We'll do it next. Actually, can I, like... Um, here, let me get this. Um, now cancel this. And I'm going to go back to, uh, let's do the Maxi Burger Wagon. There. It's just because it's the next goal. Manage. Um, vehicle. Vehicle upgrades. Okay. Arctic Cooler Box. Gives you drink capacity. We got it. So I have three upgrade slots. Um, and everything else is, is locked, but that's awesome. And I need to upgrade to the Maxi Wagon. Oh my god, look, it's got a panda on it. But I need to research it first, which we're doing. And... Um, should I train myself? Oh, I need Burger Boss. Okay. All right, restock the stand. I think I did though, right? Oh, wait, no, no, but I can order drinks. I can order drinks, that's right. Oh, and then Patty's cheese and drinks can go into the cooler. And I haven't restocked it for today, okay. So, they want me to sell 50 drinks, so I need at least 50. go all right so i have enough for 50 burgers but you see i have even more space so i could get a little bit friskier if i wanted to and like order another 12 pack and then i could go here and my you know overall I have enough for 60 burgers. This looks good. I'm just going to fill up on as many drinks as I can get. I'm going to actually take one back. Can I sell 72 burgers? Can I, do I have enough space? It's good now, I don't think so. No. All right, let's just go back down to 60 then. And sell the rest on drinks. Bam. So I got all these drinks and I got this. And I feel good. Let's go. Breaking news. I'm ready for it. Punch me. What to expect? Good news or bad news? Oh my god. The heroic times. Um, a, a new fitness app goes viral. Uh-oh. To celebrate, the app rewards users with digital gift cards. Oh, okay. So everybody's happy. Alright, great. Well, that's good. So here comes our stuff. It's been delivered. And we'll keep our shop right here. Let's go. I'm going to speed it up. We need to sell 50 drinks. Let's see if it happens. There we go. You can see people queuing up. Can this be our first profitable day? Will it happen? I met the goal. I sold um, all of my burgers and... I didn't sell all my drinks, but I think they keep. So I lost money still, um, but that's okay. And we got the Maxi Burger Wagon. The Maxi Burger Wagon has a cute panda theme and comes with the portable beats upgrade. 
click an empty stand spot to buy it or upgrade your stand in the vehicles tab and steal the hearts of more customers. Okay, awesome. Oh my God, it gives access to the mini burger trailer. Okay, so now um, we can get, uh, we need to upgrade any stand to a maxi burger wagon. So we're gonna do that. And we can actually start researching more. And our next goal is to make 172 bucks in a day. All right. Well, I mean, we are moving along beautifully in this game. And I um, was not sure what to expect. It said, like, you know, tycoon game, food wagon game. Um, but, man, once I got into it, it's got a really fun loop. There's a lot of depth and complexity here, and I'd love to know what you think of the game so far. Let me know in the comments below. I do read all the comments, and I'd love to hear, you know, have you heard of this? Have you tried to demo? Um, do you have any tips or tricks for a new player like me? I will be um, making some more videos in this series, so I hope to check you there. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Take care.